Hey, hey, and welcome to the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. And you're in the place where you can develop your ninja skills with Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign and more. In this episode, we're going to spice up this pie chart by adding some people as a pattern into the slices. I've started by creating this character here, just a stick figure out of a simple bunch of shapes. So all I've done is drawn some rectangles and a circle and join them together like so. So I'm just going to select this and I'm going to go to the object menu and choose to turn this into a pattern by going pattern make and the pattern dialog will be launched. I'm gonna zoom out a bit here and I'm just going to change the way the pattern tile generates the pattern. So I'm going to go for brick by column. So they're now all nicely offset like so. You can change the amount of offset here. It's really simple to do. I'm just going to scroll over the top of the width here and height fields just to get the gaps that I want in the pattern. I'll give this one a name. So I'll call this one people like so. And then I'll tap done at the top of the screen to go back out to the artwork. And here's my pattern swatch just over here in the swatches panel. I can now delete this figure here as I don't need it. So I'm going to zoom out and the next thing I'm going to do is to create a rectangle. So we'll just do that like so. It could be any shape, however, it doesn't have to be a rectangle because it's only here for me to create a graphic appearance. And for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to choose a blue color here and then add a new fill. And the way to do that is to hold down the command key on a Mac and the control key on a PC and then tap the slash key. And you'll see in the appearance panel down here at the bottom right, I now have a brand new fill from which I can choose my pattern like so. I want to make a modification to this because this is just sitting on the top. So I'm going to change the way that it blends. And the way I'm going to do that is tap the opacity link down here in the appearance panel for just this fill. And then I'm going to change this to overlay like so. And that's a much more soft version of that. I kind of like that. I might even just tune the opacity down a bit. There we go. If I bring that down to about, I don't know, 60% something like that. There you go. Nice and soft and subtle. I'll now go to the graphic styles panel and I'm going to alt or option click on the new graphic style icon at the bottom and it will take this selected artwork and turn it into a graphic style. So let's give this a name if I call it population just here like so and hit OK you can see the style is now in the panel. So I can delete this rectangle and get my selection tool. I'm going to select the pie chart here like so. And actually the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything is just get rid of the stroke. My stroke's currently in back if I look at the bottom of the toolbox. So I'll tap X to bring that to the front and then hit the slash key like so and then the stroke is gone. So I'm going to tap X to bring the fill to the front again. What I'm going to do is click on my graphic style here and that's now applied to all three slices. Now you might think it's only applied to one but if you look carefully it's actually applied to the one underneath and also the black one but you can't see it because it's black. And it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's applying this pattern over the top of an existing fill. So now I can get my group selection tool, which you'll find nested with the direct selection tool. And then I'm going to click on these slices in turn. So this one here, the large one, I think that would look quite good in maybe a bright blue like so. And then this white one here, I think that would look quite good in orange. And then this final one, I think that one should be green. And there you go, a much more attractive pie chart with a repeating pattern that's all joined up across all slices. Much nicer way to represent your data if it's made of people information or of course you could put any other shape in there as well. So that's it, we're done for now. Please don't forget to subscribe and spread the word. 
reach out to me via Twitter or my Facebook page. You'll find those details in just a moment. Keep on watching, and until next time, see ya.